Dr. Bell, thanks for joining us. We're talking about low testosterone in men, and the first thing we like to do is get definitions. What is testosterone, and why does it decline as men age? Testosterone is a human hormone. In men, it's produced primarily by the testes. Uh, testosterone helps maintain sexual function and also supports maintenance of good bone health and uh, muscle mass. It does tend to uh, reduce or fall as, as men age, uh, oftentimes as much as 20 or 30 percent. Um, that's principally due to decreased production by the testes, but also it's due to increased binding of hormone in the bloodstream that leaves less of the free hormone available to exert uh, its effects. How is testosterone or the level of testosterone in, in men uh, measured, tested? Testosterone is measured by a simple blood test. Experts advise that the blood test be obtained at 8 o'clock in the morning. A low level is 300 or less. Less than 200 is definitely low. Uh, if the initial test turns out to be low, experts also recommend that at least one or two additional tests be obtained to confirm that the low level is actually uh, truly low. Are there symptoms to uh, low testosterone, and if so, what are they? The most common symptoms are decreased libido or sexual function. Um, also, men can experience decreased energy and sometimes increased depression symptoms. Uh, these symptoms are pretty common in the general population, so the, the importance is, is that symptoms like these uh, need to be correlated with a low testosterone level to actually diagnose symptomatic low testosterone. Are there conditions other than mm. the advancement of age that can cause testosterone levels to be low? There are a number of conditions that, that can cause low testosterone. Uh, viral infections uh, like mumps, uh, for instance, uh, can, and uh, HIV, uh, a viral infection with HIV can. Um, in addition, um, advanced kidney disease and liver disease can cause uh, reduced testosterone, and there are a number of other conditions that can as well. In addition, uh, obesity, which of course is becoming more and more common uh, in the population at large, can cause a low testosterone hormone. Um, is there a link between low testosterone levels and other medical conditions? Um, low testosterone is associated with anemia. Uh, of course, there are many other conditions also that can cause anemia, so testing needs to be done. Um, low testosterone in older men is also associated with osteoporosis, which is a condition most frequently um, associated with women, but men also get osteoporosis, and any man that, that has unexpected osteoporosis should have uh, a testosterone level obtained. In addition, uh, testosterone is associated with, um, with depression, um, and, and that's another condition where uh, one might want to consider getting a testosterone level. And there are a number of other conditions as well, but those are some of the most common. Well, now that we've established all this, and we've established <clears throat> that perhaps uh, testosterone levels are low, how is low testosterone treated? Well, there are a number of effective treatments uh, that, that uh, are approved. Um, there are testosterone injections that be, it can be given um, uh, as frequently as once a week or as infrequently as every three weeks. Uh, those are effective but, but less convenient for, for some people. Um, in addition, there are skin patch or gel products that can be applied to the skin. Uh, on a daily basis uh, that are effective as well. These are all prescription products that uh, need a doctor's prescription and, and should be carefully monitored. You just mentioned effective. How effective is treating low testosterone? Well, the key is, um, is two things. One is uh, identifying symptoms that are thought likely to be due to low testosterone and then secondly, getting a testosterone level and confirming it on repeated testing to actually be low. When, when you uh, combine those two things, a low testosterone hormone level with suspected symptoms, then treatment with a testosterone product 
uh, can be very effective at reversal of those symptoms. But uh, any individual taking uh, testosterone hormone level product needs to be carefully followed by their physician uh, to make sure that the symptoms uh, respond to the treatment and also that, uh, that the hormone level um, is brought up into the normal range. Are there any risks attendant to uh, replacing testosterone to, to, and testosterone hormone therapy? Yes, there are, and, and that's why it's important that individuals go to see their physician when they suspect they, they may have low uh, testosterone uh, rather than self-treatment. Uh, because testosterone um, in, in excess um, can stimulate overgrowth of the prostate gland, which can worsen prostate symptoms. Uh, there's some concern it could also increase the risk of prostate cancer, or if a man has a pre-existing undiagnosed prostate cancer, it could make that cancer uh, grow more quickly. Um, just as, uh, as uh, low blood levels or anemia can be related to uh, testosterone deficiency, uh, testosterone overtreatment can result in high red blood cell levels, which can make the blood stickier and more prone to clotting. So uh, uh, testosterone hormone therapy does have to be monitored carefully and can cause adverse side effects. In addition, some of the uh, testosterone supplement products available that can be taken by mouth, in some instances, uh, liver reactions or, or liver damage uh, has been reported with those products. This segues nicely into the next question. <clears throat> what are the risks associated with treating low testosterone with the over-the-counter products, some of which you see advertised on television? Well, they're, they're the risks uh, of, of high testosterone uh, levels, kind of the reverse of, of uh, low testosterone. And I, I think the, the, the principal uh, risks include, um, uh, as we just discussed, um, adverse liver reactions or, or liver damage associated with some oral products, um, and also um, excess, or ex increases in blood count to the point where the, the blood, in effect, gets sticky and, uh, and more clot prone. Well, doctor, with all this said, if a man suspects his testosterone levels are low, what's your best advice on what he should do? Well, it's pretty simple, really. You should, you should just go in to, to see your physician. Um, but uh, once again, I, I think it's, it's reasonable to, to, to have a high sensitivity to the, the symptoms that, that can be from low testosterone. And the main ones to focus on are, uh, are decreased libido, uh, decreased sexual function, um, or, uh, or unexpected fatigue, unexplained fatigue, um, or, or mood changes that, that are new. And uh, if you experience those kind of symptoms, uh, you should go in to see your physician uh, because checking for low testosterone is very easy. Um, uh, as we discussed earlier, it just involves a simple morning blood test that, ne that then might need uh, confirmation with, with one or two additional blood tests. But it's easy to diagnose. Um, and the treatment, uh, uh, when it's found and when it's associated with symptoms, is uh, relatively easy to take or administer. Very well, doctor, thank you very much. You're welcome.